guys, Richard Holdner here. Welcome to the channel. Which one would you rather have? Remember, you can only pick one, a 383 stroker Cleveland or a 427 stroker Clevor. Ah, what the heck? Let's just do both. In this video, we're going to take a look at what happens when you install a set of aluminum CHI 3V Cleveland heads. First on a 383 stroker Cleveland, then again on a 427 stroker Cleavor. Now the question isn't, do these heads work? We know that they do. Just take a look at the results from all of the engine master stuff that Kazi did with these amazing heads. We know that they work. The question is, did we take advantage of everything they have to offer? This is an interesting build up, mostly because it is a Cleveland, but for a number of other reasons too. It's also a Stroker Cleveland, and it's an aluminum headed 3V CHI. <laughs> Stroker Cleveland, but it also is a perfect example of having way too much cylinder head for our combination and not really taking advantage of it. This test has run long ago, but I wanted to get some Cle more Cleveland videos up. So here is a Stroker Cleveland, and we're going to take a look at a Cleavor next. But this is a 383 Stroker Cleveland. This thing started out as an early 70s 351 Cleveland. In fact, this motor was given to me by the guys, by Jimmy and the guys at HP Performance. So shout out to Jimmy. Thank you very much for that, for back in the day. This one is, I would call it semi-famous. This particular motor was, this Cleveland was used for a number of different engine tests, starting out with just rebuilding the motor, basically. And it you, we use it as the basis for our Boss 351, for the Cobra Jet, for a ton of camshaft tests, for a ton of intake manifold tests, for all kinds of things, before it was eventually disassembled and reassembled back as a 383 stroker. In fact, it was a little bit bigger than that because this was a four, uh, 4040 bore, so we had to bore a little bit more than 30 thousands to get the thing cleaned up. And we combined that uh, 40 over, with a 375 stroker crank. The crank was a cast crank from SCAT, but we did use forged rods. We used H-beam rods, 6125 rods, and a forged flat top probe piston with about a 7cc, you know, valve relief dish in that, in that, and that combination worked out well. We put a flat tappet camshaft in it. Obviously, we could have run a roller, especially with these heads. And looking back, we probably should have done that. Um, but the flat tappet was an Extreme Energy 284. It was a 584, 588 lift. So decent lift, although it was still a flat tappet. It was a 240, 246 at 50 and 110 degree lobe separation angle. Really, this thing deserved a, a roller cam and a lot more RPM, as we'll see from where this thing made peak power, given how much head flow we have. But obviously, um, bringing everything together was the, and the real reason that I even built this motor was so that we could put these CHI aluminum 3V heads. And for those of you guys not familiar with a 3V head, it's in between a 2V and a 4V. So it's not this, it's not these smaller, um, 2V heads and it's not the very big four valve heads. They have a smaller port, but even though these measured 218 cc's, these were the ported versions from the guys at CHI way back and they flowed almost 350 CFM. So even though they were technically smaller than a production 4V head, which flows about 275, these flowed a ton more air and it was very easy to make power with these because not only did they flow a lot more air, but they were also quite a bit smaller. So we had the comp cam, we had the CHI heads, and we also put a matching CHI 3V single plane intake. Now, way back, I did this as a comparison between a set of stock heads and unfortunately, all I had was another stock intake. I didn't have a single plane to run it on. So it wasn't really a good, you know, apples to apples comparison, <laughs> but we know these heads make a lot more than the stock four valve head. But given these power numbers, and I'm sure that everybody's going to chime in and tell me that, um, either either stock heads would probably get you here if, if everything were right, um, or certainly ported stock heads could get you here too. So you don't have to spend all the money on THI 3V heads. I just thought you guys thought it would be cool. So we have uh, all of our combination together. And the single plane intake obviously pushes power out a little bit further. In fact, this thing made peak torque past uh, about 5,200 RPM. I kind of expected it to make more peak power out past 6,000, but it didn't seem to. We didn't have a lot of valve spring in this, um, and these had fairly big valves. And the 218cc CHI 3V heads had a 215 1650 valve package. So that's a pretty big valve. We got our valves from Faria and we got a valve spring upgrade from comp cams, but because this was a flat tab of cam, we only had about 135 or 140 pounds of seat pressure on the hydraulic flat tap of cam. We also ran with these heads, we ran a set of engine or, or 1.73 aluminum roller rockers from comp cams. 
Um, Comcam is also supplied, obviously, the push rods that were necessary for this. And we ran this with a Holly 750 HP carburetor and an MSD distributor. All of this stuff combined together to give you <laughs> what you see here. And this thing made over 500 horsepower, which is good. Uh, made 524 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 490 foot-pounds. And the fact that there isn't a big difference between the peak horsepower and the peak torque number tells me that this is still a fairly mild combination. That we have a lot, we have a lot more to go. As I said, because this head flowed 350 CFM, um, you know, it could support 700 horsepower or more. So I did take this head, these heads, and put them on a much bigger motor, but it was a cleavor. So let's take a look at that. After basically wasting all of that head flow from the ported CHI 3V heads on the milder 3A3, I actually installed them on a 427 inch but a Windsor based short block. So this was a 427, it was a dart block, it was a 4125 bore and a 4 inch stroke. It had a flat top piston with valve reliefs cut in it for the Cleveland heads because these were 3V CHI heads. Again, this was a 218cc port, it had been ported. It had a 215 and a 1650 exhaust package on it. It had 64cc chambers. And we combined it with a single plane intake also from CHI. But this thing was set up for a dominator, dominator style carburetor, which we ended up running a 1050 King Demon on and did the tuning accordingly with the Demon carburetor. And it worked really well. Um, other improvements, obviously, on the 427. Uh, we spent a lot of time on the oiling system on this 427 on the long stroke and stuff. And we put a Mylodon pan with a kick out and a winded tray and all of that stuff helped quite a bit because I did some testing on just what the oiling upgrades were worth and they were worth a fair bit of power. So the oiling system was good. Also, this had much more camshaft in it than the smaller 383 did. This had a solid roller and it was a 688, 692 lift. And honestly, it could have used more camshaft than this, but it was a 268, 274 degree duration split at 50 and 109 degree lobe separation angle. And honestly, like I said, it could have used more lift, it could have used more duration, and it, we could have used a tighter LSA because we still had available piston to valve clearance. But this is the combination that we ran it in. And just like with the 383, it also had a set of 173 uh, aluminum roller rockers from Comp Cam. It had an MSD distributor, but again, this thing had the bigger um, carburetor on it compared to the 383. Once all of this stuff was packaged together and tuned properly, the 427 with the CHI heads produced 636 horsepower, which is a pretty good amount. Um, not stellar. There's more there. The, the heads will certainly support a lot more power. And it looks like this test was wrong, run long ago, but it looks like we we're running into maybe a little bit of valve control there out past 7,000 RPM. Torque, the peak torque was impressive at 558 foot pounds. So things were working very well. It, you know, it had good compression. It obviously had the, it had the right camshaft to make a good peak torque number anyway. If you calculate that out, that's a pretty good, pretty good number. Um, I wanted this thing to carry out a little bit farther and make obviously a little bit more peak power because we always do. But this is what it did, but it's not because of the CHI heads. Those things will make a ton of power as Kazi showed in all the subsequent testing. Cause this is back when, uh, right after engine masters had happened and he showed that, you know, he, <laughs> with these heads, you can make a ton of power. Certainly a lot more than we made here, but these are the two that I did. So we did the 383 and we did the 427, uh, Cleavor with the three, uh, three VCHI heads and this stuff all worked out cool. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, what do we learn from our testing with the CHI 3V aluminum Cleveland heads? Well, we learned that they work very well. And we also learned that we didn't take full advantage of everything that they have to offer. Let's take a look at the 383 first. I actually did a back-to-back -back comparison on the 383, comparing the factory 4V head to the CHI 3V head. And the CHI 3V head, the upgrade was worth about 45 or 50 horsepower compared to the factory head. But here's the deal, and this is why I didn't include it in this video. I also had to upgrade the intake manifold. I couldn't run the single plane CHI 3V intake on the 4V head, and I couldn't run the 4V intake on the CHI 3V head. So really the upgrade was the, the cylinder heads and the intake manifold. But still, we know that the CHI 3V head is better than the factory 4V head. It's smaller and it flows more. 
both of which are good. Now on the larger 427, I still don't think we took advantage of everything that that head had to offer. I mean, it flows almost 350 CFM. That's certainly enough to su support way up near 700 horsepower, or maybe even a touch more. Just take a look at the stuff all co that Kazi did back in Engine Masters. We know that these heads can make even more power than we made here. These tests were all run long ago, but we know they work. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. More testing coming up.